Michael Waltz of Florida, former Green Beret uh, and now member of Congress. She's with us. Uh, U.S. officials in just the past couple of minutes said that we have, meaning U.S. military, has shot down some of the Iranian-launched drones targeting Israel. Uh, let me go to the best-case scenario first. How does this not end with massive Israeli retaliation? Uh, uh, Massive Israeli retaliation, um, and then also uh, a regional war. Well, Leland, I think the best case scenario, uh, which would avoid that additional escalation, uh, would be most of these drones are shot down uh, uh, and they don't hit major Israeli civilian targets. Perhaps they hit some military targets and that Hezbollah does not engage in a decisive way. If that's about the extent of it, then I think the best analogy here was the post Soleimani strike uh, under President Trump that the Iranians did, which we now know that they essentially called us and said, we have to hit back, but we hope that's the end of it. And almost all of those missiles hit outside of our air base. Uh, so it, it essentially a symbolic strike. That said, uh, coming directly from Iranian territory versus through its proxies is a significant and historic uh, uh, step up, a step forward or escalation, as your previous guest rightly pointed out. But I think if we see Israelis hit, uh, if we see civilians die, Tel Aviv proper gets hit and Hezbollah starts unleashing, then you will see a significant Israeli response. Uh, and, um, you know, we have to take a step back, Leland, and just fully appreciate what a disaster the Obama-Biden Middle East policy has been. Just a few years ago, ISIS was largely defeated and contained, Iran was broke, and the Abraham Accords were breaking out, and look where we are now. Uh, to be fair, it was President Biden who yesterday, when asked about a possible Iranian attack, his line to the Iranians was, don't. Um, and now they have. I think the point you picked up on, Congressman, that uh, shows your expertise in the region, um, is Hezbollah that may be the real sort of wild card here. And that is the Iranian group. This is Iran where the drones all fo flew over Saudi Arabia or up over Iraq and then down through Syria. Um, Hezbollah runs southern Lebanon and effectively runs Lebanon. Uh, that is Iran's insurance policy because they right. have about 100,000 of their own missiles that they can launch into Israel and they truly could uh, wreak havoc uh, on the Israeli uh, infrastructure on its country and overwhelm its air defense systems. Uh, if Hezbollah does not get involved, and they have not, we've been talking about this since October 7th, the, the war in the war north, the war in the north. Uh, if Iran holds back Hezbollah, is that the indication that this doesn't turn into a regional war, if you will? Yeah, I think that's their ultimate trump card, their insurance policy. Uh, they have exponentially more Hezbollah, more capability than Hamas in terms of numbers of rockets, but not just uh, the numbers, it's the types. Their kind of MO, so to speak, or their plan is to overwhelm the Iron Dome with dumb rockets so that they, the Iron Dome has runs out of ammunition and then follow up with precision guided long range that could hit Israel's nuclear facility. Uh, all right, it looks like we just lost Congressman Waltz. Uh, we'll try to get him back because we wanted to talk to him about this. And I think tonight, um, if you're looking at a war in the Middle East and saying, gee, why does it matter to me at home? These are live pictures of Jerusalem. We have not seen or heard um, any explosions in Jerusalem yet. Um, you would think the Iranians would try and uh, at least avoid Jerusalem because of the holy sites for Islam as well that you're looking at them. We understand the Israelis have been engaged in a lot of GPS spoofing um, that's trying to, to lead the drones off uh, line here. So as they flew from Iran and their GPS. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.